Welcome to the Spy Collection. This is Anastasios and this time we have something unusual for our collection. If you have been watching our videos, you'd notice that we do not talk about the so-called spy gadgets that you can find commercially available and the reasoning is that we only present artifacts that have been involved in real-world espionage cases. Not private individuals spying on each other or spy gadgets available off the shelf. However, this time we look at this. Something commercially available for several years now. It is a wall microphone manufactured by several Chinese brands known as the HY929. Why? Because we recently identified the real world espionage case involving it in Ukraine. Stay tuned to find out more. Such devices aren't some sort of groundbreaking technology in the espionage world. For example, in this declassified 1960s training film from the United States Central Intelligence Agency, we see a similar gadget used by a CIA tradecraft instructor to demonstrate its capabilities in a training film. However, entry is not necessary in order to hear what is being said within a room. If the wall is so thick that the sound waves are blurred or otherwise indistinct, a long metal probe can be attached to the mic and pushed through the inner wall to the inside of the wall of the other room. The vibrations then pass from the wall through the probe to the microphone, clearly reproducing any sounds emanating from the next room. The contact microphone with different sized probes. It may be used with or without the probes and will faithfully reproduce all the sounds within an average room. This small electronic device has an embedded 3.7 volt lithium battery offering over 10 hours of use with the ability to magnify, as it says in the documentation, audio signals up to 20,000 times. On the main unit, we have the on-off switch, the LED status indicator, the headphones plug and the mode selector. From left to right we have input by probe, standard sensitivity and high sensitivity. On the other side we have the USB charger and the sensor plug. And here, an SD card slot to record the audio. Apparently, the device comes with a wall probe similar to the one we saw in the CIA training film. As well as this contact microphone, which, as you see, It has something like a spike. This touches the wall and captures even the tiniest vibrations and turns them into audio signals. Here is a test of the contact microphone through a typical internal plastered brick wall. Test, test, one, two, spy collection. Test, one, two, spy collection, test, one, two. And now back to our recent espionage story. Unsurprisingly, the rules of espionage change in war zones. Some OPSEC measures become second priority. Most agencies care more about the quantity of agents rather than the quality. And counterintelligence units are less tolerant of any foreign activities. This is partially why, in both Ukraine and Russia, We've been seeing so many agents getting compromised on a weekly basis. On February 27, 2022, the Security Service of Ukraine, known as the SBU, announced a series of disruptions of Russian intelligence networks in Ukraine, along with photos to support their statement. Specifically, a group of three agents in Mariupol monitoring and reporting Ukrainian forces' movements in the region. Here is the photo related to this counterintelligence operation the SBU shared. A Russian covert sabotage and reconnaissance group in Mykolaiv that tried to break into strategic locations of Ukraine. And again, here's the related photo from the SBU's announcement. Then, a Russian intelligence informant in Carpathian. 
According to the SBU, he was detained near a military facility while collecting intelligence on the movement of Ukrainian military equipment in the region, as well as an individual operating from the city of Vinnytsia that SBU identified as an agent of the Russian military intelligence, the GRU, the person of interest for this presentation. And here is the photo that we care about. Interestingly, the SBU removed only this photograph later on from their website, but several news websites that had propagated the original announcement still have it online, as per SBU's announcement that GRU agent was tasked with providing details for sites that the Russian military wanted to target with rocket strikes and targeted fire. He disguised himself as an ordinary passerby, and during his arrest, he had what the SBU named as special equipment and an automatic weapon. Among other items, we have the same spy gadget that we demonstrated in this video. The other items that we see were a taser which looks identical to the Power 200, a broken portable handheld radio scanner that looks a lot like the Uniden Trunk Tracker 3 or some sort of replica of it, a small lockpick set in leather pouch, a Browning 364 quick opening folding knife, a couple of wallets and several SIM cards, as well as this Chinese long-range digital night vision goggles. It's not clear how that GRU agent was using this device or if he was using it at all. Maybe he had access to some building nearby potential Russian targets and could utilize this to eavesdrop on what people were discussing from an adjacent room. It could have been just a lure by the agent's handler to make him feel more like a movie spy without any practical use or anything else in between. Based on the publicly available information, we don't know that. Nevertheless, it's the first real-world espionage case that we know of where the HY929 is seen as part of an agent's spy gadget. If you are aware of more espionage cases involving this, please let us know in the comments below. Walls have ears, and spy technology that a few decades ago was only accessible to intelligence agencies, now is readily available and for very low prices, just a couple of clicks away. Nowadays, anyone can purchase such spy gadgets and turn walls into microphones. Unless you know you are in a secure facility, someone might be listening. Nothing is as it seems.